It's just like two months ago, I was in Paris and I was in Milan. And then, you know, it's just like now I'm in Montreal. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Used to rush to work and have no time for fun And spend half of my life on full highways Then the world closed down, stuck inside this town Home with the family, all new reality Four walls and a door, nothing's like before You and me and no distractions So let's just keep it simple There's so much we can do at home Build a fort in the living room Have a pillow fight bear with me I know I look a little bummy we just got off the airplane and off the metro and the bus system which was honestly you guys not that hard to figure out guys we're in Montreal we are in Montreal I can't believe I'm saying that but just like two months ago I was in Paris and I was in Milan and then you know we just like now I'm in Montreal and like yes granted like though there were like time breaks but like it's still kind of crazy I'm really happy and I'm proud of myself that I got here and y'all if I can do it you can do it trust me okay you guys I just I, I don't even know why I didn't think about this look at my little slippers but look And this mirror is everything and it's right by the door so the lighting like just like hold on i'm gonna close i know what you're thinking victoria why are you in your pjs is it not day one is it not 5 p.m you are very much right i kind of want to relax for the rest of the day I was watching Bridgerton, which I'm on episode two, and I'm, ooh, y'all, let's just say Miss Sharma. Give it to Anthony. <clears throat> what I did is I ordered DoorDash. <laughs> I really didn't want to because like DoorDash, like the fees are just so expensive. And it's even more expensive here in Canada because you know Canada is like way more than the States. Um, but uh, I am getting it from this place called Harvey's. All right, it is time. It smells good. I mean, it smells like a regular, you know, burger stuff, joy place. Um, but I got a crispy chicken wrap. Carbonation's not really there. I got a root beer. Oh, you guys, you guys. Okay, so your girl got poutine. Look at me being trying to be Canadian shit. Now, okay, so I mean, I, I think, you know, like regardless of where you get it, like, poutine is poutine. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously if I get got it at a restaurant, that's more authentic than me getting it from like you know a fast food place. But it it's like the same kind of point. Mm. So it's kind of messy, greasy. Definitely like it's been moved. But it's got the cheese curds and the gravy. Hello everyone, today 
I don't really have a plan tomorrow. I'm going on a tour in old Montreal, but today we are going to just like walk around. Um, I don't, I was going to go to downtown Montreal, but I think we're just going to like, I mean, like if it happens, it happens. But today I'm definitely going to walk around just where I am right now. We're in the plateau area. So just gonna walk around, see what I could get into. Definitely find a place to eat because I have not eaten today yet. Um, yeah, this is the outfit. I feel very, I don't know if this is like a proper winter, I mean, I think so. It's like I'm wearing a long sleeve turtleneck and then I got a cardigan on top. So like, I don't know if it's more fall, but it's gonna have to work today, you know? I think I look cute. I don't wanna lose my ground in So you catch me not responding And I press my lips together So you don't find any answer I'm on my phone 6.30 Can't be texting you this early Cause I fall too fast and lose myself And I want this to last My friends, they see the patterns I say it's different but I don't wanna lose my ground in So you catch me not responding And I press my lips together So you don't find any answers I'm on my phone 6.30 Can't be texting you this early Cause I fall too fast and lose myself And I want this to last My friends, they see the patterns I say it's different but it's only faster How do I tell them that you're the exception Without repeating or just second guessing All right, you guys, so we are back. Um, la Benquis, la Benquis. Um, where I got that amazing poutine. Oh my gosh, that was so good. It had bacon and the cheese curds and this gravy. I'm like, so mouthwatering. It was so good. I highly recommend going there. They're 24 hours, so like they're open all the time. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa. You can get access to that 24 seven, bet. I wasn't gonna go to the underground city, but I ended up going anyways and at first, cause like I walked through it when I got off the metro, at the metro, and it just seemed like a really big mall. But like, I feel, I just have this feeling I didn't see all of it because I thought there was like an ice skating rink there. Um, I don't know, I could be wrong. Then I stepped into this cute little boutique, Chaco Montreal. Ooh. Um, so the owner, I, I got into a riveting conversation with her. Riveting. Um, her name's Chaco. I think I'm still pronouncing that right. I hope I am so freaking cool she went to brazil last month where she met the most amazing people and had just the most amazing time so uh rio coming soon either <laughs> if not this year next year let's get it i'm trying to go to carnival let's get it let's get it and uh, she was so cool and i just really bonded with her like especially um so girl if you're watching this hey how you doing <laughs> she's supposed to text me and we're supposed to go out this saturday she's uh she invited me to go out with her girls and i'm like oh my gosh yes like this is what travel is about meeting people when you're here and just like like solo traveling is like you don't have to be solo like you can have fun and go out and do things with other people um and so that's why i'm so excited and i do hope we go out i'm excited but yeah her her store is cute and like check out her instagram check out her website see if you want to pick up some pieces because they're cute and i will definitely be picking up some pieces and ordering stuff when i'm home that's it um i think i may go back out for like you no know, food and maybe some drinks um but we'll see i may not vlog that um but regardless i'll see you guys in the next day
what is up you guys i just got back from my tour and it was so much fun oh my gosh old montreal is so cute and i'm either gonna go explore it a little bit more today or tomorrow it's either i'll do it tomorrow and i think i'm going to go to saint viator saint viator v bien bien viator one of the best bagel shops here there's like fairmount fairmont uh like they're like rival big uh bagel shops so i'm gonna go to one of their locations here because i am hungry and i kind of want a bagel right now so that's what we're gonna do that's where we're gonna go all right also before i go i wanted to shout out to my tour guide leslie um you guys can find her tour available on airbnb experiences it's labeled i want to say it's like a it's got a she, she, she's also a photographer um so it's like a really nice picture of Mont old montreal and oh my gosh it was such a nice tour and she even gave us these postcards um of pictures that she took of old montreal and like went walked past that store and i'm honestly gonna frame these like so pretty and then she gave us a whole list of things to do see eat shop in old montreal and also just in montreal in general i'm gonna do my best to try and go do a lot of these myself i've already done like a couple of them i've been to a couple of those places so far which is pretty cool I got the sesame seed bagel, club bagel, so good. Had ham, mayonnaise, um, tomato, lettuce. I think there was cheese on there. So freaking good. The bagel was toasted. That bagel was delicious. Like I'm probably gonna go back either tomorrow or the next day. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna get another bagel from them. I wanna try Fairmont just to try it, see what I think how i like it but oh my god that was so good i will say if you end up going to that um i don't know if the main location is the same but the location i went to um they only allow you to pay with canadian cash or canadian debit credit which sucks but is what is so i had to go get um money from the bank I uh, put, I went to an ATM and put my debit card in and got the money. It only cost me like $3 extra to like get it. Cause of, you know, fee to pull it out. But I got my 80 bucks in Canadian. Let me show you what Canadian money looks like. Granted, you can find out what Canadian looks like by Googling it or watching another video, but I'm still gonna show you. Guys, uh, look at it. It's so pretty. So crisp. It's so nice. I don't want to get this back. Who who told that money could be this pretty? Who told them money could be fun? Because I'm gonna need them to relay the message to the states because our crusty green dollars are not doing it for me. Like this is pretty, this is gorgeous. I want to put this on display. Ugh, which I won't because I need the money, <laughs> but still. I really like it. I'm enjoying my time here and I'm meeting cool people and I am just excited for the rest of my trip. I hope you come back next week where I have the rest of my journey coming up. Yeah, okay. <laughs>